SRW Products is excited to introduce Wetlock, the new jointing sand that will work for you practically any time. Wetlock is an all-weather jointing sand that will set up stronger whether you install it in the rain or sun. Wetlock is a self-curing jointing material that will work for all types of paving projects with joint sizes of 3 16 of an inch to 5 inches. Unlike regular polymeric sand, there is no special equipment required to install Wetlock. All you do is sweep the sand into the joints while showering it with a hose and let it cure. Let's walk through some details and our full instructions to show you how Wetlock works. Coverage. Coverage will vary depending on the surface and application. Generally, one tub will cover 45 to 60 square feet of pavers with a 3 16 inch joint. Wider joints will reduce overall coverage. Wetlock can be used from a 3 16 inch joint width all the way up to a 5 inch joint. Minimum joint depth is 1 inch. Step 1. Wet the surface. Water helps to prevent the resin binding agent from settling on the surface, which would create enhancement or framing around the edges of the paver or stone surface. Surface must remain saturated during the entire process to ensure resin does not bind to the surface of the project. A good rule of thumb. If you're not sure you have enough water on the surface, add more. Step 2. Sweep sand. Pour the wet lock jointing sand in a pile on the wet surface. Immediately wet down the sand while a second person pushes it around using a broom or squeegee diagonally to the joints. Continuously wet the area in front and behind of the broom or squeegee to help settle the sand into the joints. Step 3. Fill joints completely. Wet lock will start to settle into joints as water is added. If joints appear only partially filled, add more sand onto the surface while sweeping and watering to ensure joints are completely filled. The use of a plate compactor is not recommended. Step 4. Rinse. When the joints are no longer accepting sand, Rinse the surface to remove any excess sand and oily residue until the water runs clean. Step 5. Finishing. Striking the joints is not required, but it will provide uniformity and the benefit of easier cleaning in the future. If uniformity is desired, wait for the surface of the project to dry and ensure no water is remaining in the joints before striking the joint. Then, using a pointing tool and very little pressure, finish the joint. After striking the joints, consider using a soft hand brush to remove any wet lock remaining on the project surface. Use short brisk movements with the brush to remove any excess sand from the surface of the project. Cleanup and Storage Save the original bucket to place any remaining joint sand in to preserve for a later point. Fill bucket until water is 2 inch above the top material and seal the lid. It is always preferable to store in a cool dry place. However, the material is not damaged by frost or exposure to cold, wet conditions. It is important to keep the product protected from high temperatures. Protect packaging from punctures or piercings. Any exposure to air will start the curing process. 12 month shelf life for unopened containers provided care is taken over its storage conditions and the product packaging is not damaged. Curing SRW refers to the curing of wet lock jointing sand as the evaporation of moisture within the paved surface and joints to allow the resin coating the sand to react with the air and cure or dry out. Maintenance Permeable joint material like SRW wet lock jointing sand allows moisture to filter through the sand. Over time, dirt and debris may settle into the joints and alter the original appearance. Mold and mildew may also form. These can easily be remedied by lightly pressure washing any residue from the joints on an annual basis. Wetlock will hold strong for your project for years to come. To learn more about this product or other products, please visit srwproducts.com.